Hello everyone, this is Movie Recap. The movie we are introducing today is the science fiction movie Venom, which was released in 2018. In the starry universe, a white dot of light gradually approaches the Earth. As it gets closer and closer, it turns out to be a spaceship. Not long after that, the spacecraft came to a cacophony of shouts. Finally the ship lost control and broke through the atmosphere. A huge explosion was caused on the ground. The location was in Malaysia, rescue teams arrived soon. The rescuers remove a bottle of special creatures from the wreckage of the plane. Drake is the founder of the company. This time his ship had an accident. But he doesn't care about the number of casualties among his staff. He only wanted to bring back the sample in the bottle quickly. Only one astronaut survived on the ship. When the ambulance left, the only survivor suddenly stood up. A black substance spread from his body, attacked the other two people in the ambulance. Then one paramedic broke out of the ambulance. Looking at the logo in his hand, she started walking toward Drake's company. And our story begins with the attached medical staff. The location is in San Francisco. His name is Eddie. He's a TV reporter. His girlfriend, Annie, is a lawyer. Eddie has a special news section. Both the authenticity of the program Dot and Eddie's truthfulness. This program has won an excellent reputation. This day, he came to the company. He was sent by his superior to interview Drake. The superior knew that Eddie did not like Drake so warn him in advance. If Eddie dares to talk nonsense, he will immediately fire him. He told Eddie that in this world, if the other party has enough money and power, we can only bow down to these people. At night, Eddie gets up to drink water. Suddenly, an email from Annie's computer catches his attention. Finally, Eddie decides to open it and learns about the scandal at Drake's company. The next day's interview, angry Eddie starts questioning Drake about why there were so many homeless people and volunteers that, after receiving treatment and then inexplicably dying, the interview had to be terminated. As you can imagine, Eddie was fired from his job. Even his girlfriend was kicked out of the law firm. She returned the engagement ring to Eddie. One minute, he's a winner. The next moment, he lost his job and his lover. On the other hand, the possessed doctor has caused a big trouble in the Chinatown. Her body can be turned into a weapon. Another innocent citizen has become the new host. Six months later, the things in the bottle are the creatures on the ship. They are called symbiotes. Because this creature can attach to the body of an animal. To control the actions and thoughts of animals. Dr. Dora did not expect that Drake's next target on humans. In a bar, Eddie's life right now is a complete mess. After a drink, he goes to a convenience Mrs. Chen's store. It's one of the locations Eddie frequents. But business is not good here. Eddie is not a fool, the other party has a real gun. The only thing that happens and you try to be a hero is death. Before leaving, Mrs. Chen told him that. Life is like this, we have no way to escape. In these six months, Eddie has spent all his savings. He didn't expect Drake to blacklist him. All the companies rejected his job application. On the lab side, the first tester showed up. Drake's strongest ability is that. He was so eloquent that he managed to fool the experimenters every time. It was clear that these people were experiments, but after his persuasion, they will feel that it is giving for the world. As the hatch opened and the black symbiote was released, this thing immediately entered the host's body. At first the test subject had no pain, but the next second the man fell to the ground and died, and the symbiote left the host. Witness such a terrible scene, Dr. Dora had another idea. She found Eddie and told him about Drake's plan. Unfortunately, Eddie didn't want to be involved at all. On the way back, he meet his ex-girlfriend Annie by chance. Tell her that he is the culprit. It's all Eddie's fault. At night, he looks at the ring in his hand and decides that he has to take revenge. Eddie calls Dr. Dora. With her help, the two sneak into the office. On the elevator, Eddie doesn't believe in the existence of extraterrestrial beings. The two are about to enter the lab, but the security guard shows up. Dr. Dora has no choice but to let Eddie in first and distract the security guard herself. Eddie came in and used his phone to film the scene. As he was about to leave, the hatch behind him made a commotion, looking at the human inside for help. 
Eddie then used a fire extinguisher to break open the hatch. The moment the door opened, the other side pounced on Eddie. A moment, the black symbiote attached to Eddie's body. After the alarm sounded, Eddie could only escape from here. In the process of escaping, Eddie found that he had so much power. He broke through the fence and hid in the forest. In the process, it was as if someone was controlling his body. The cars and security guards on patrol soon caught up with him. When the car stopped, everyone was dumbfounded. Why did the person just in front of you disappear out of thin air? Actually, Eddie was at the top of the tree at that moment. Drake rushed to the lab. There weren't many symbiotes, and now there was one missing. The reason why the experimental subjects keep dying. Because the symbiont must find a suitable host. If the host does not match, then it will absorb the energy in these people. Eddie came home and started drinking a lot of water. He had never felt so hungry before. Not even for the food in the garbage. The sudden change in the mirror and a voice startled Eddie. Looking at the garbage all over the floor, Eddie did not know what had just happened. He found Annie, wanted to explain the experimental project of draking. But his own body was out of control. He even took a bath in the bathtub nearby and ate a live lobster. Annie's current boyfriend is a doctor. The two took Eddie to the hospital to get an MRI to examine Eddie's body. This makes Eddie very uncomfortable. On the other hand, scientists found that if the sound waves reach 4000 to 6000 Hz, it will cause great damage to the symbiote. That's why Eddie was so miserable in the hospital just now. Meanwhile, Drake also found out that the doctor is the mole. He called the doctor to the lab and began to verbally brainwash her. Dora reveals the truth finally. When Drake finds out everything, the only way to end the doctor is to die. The men found Eddie's location. Eddie looked at his own body to show such ability. He is also very incredible. It seems that the voice in his head before is indeed there. After a simple exchange, he easily cleaned up the Drake's group. Then Eddie left the community by motorcycle. The two groups started racing directly on the road. But Eddie showed the powerful ability. The other side had no idea what was going on. Eventually, at an intersection, the cars on the left and right caught Eddie. At the critical moment, the symbiote took control of the enemy's steering wheel and this is to get out of danger. But the next second, Eddie was hit by the car, flying out. Drake's group came over and found that Eddie's body had been severely damaged. Then, a miraculous scene occurred. Eddie's injured parts began to recover. The symbiote completely wrapped around him. This is the original form of the symbiote. A seemingly bloated body, but has a very fast speed and powerful explosive power. Eddie broke through the stone bridge and entered the water like a torpedo. The symbiote told Eddie that his name was Venom. Since Venom found its host, Eddie, the two, is a hello. Venom can know Eddie's mind, and Eddie also fits his requirements perfectly. On the other hand, Dr. Dora did not survive long. This leads Drake to want Eddie even more. Eddie is intercepted by the special forces. He summons Venom to get out of danger. The human guns and ammunition have no effect on Venom. With the smoke grenades detonated. In the mist, all the enemies were attacked by Venom. Just as he is about to eat a police officer. Annie appears in the hall, which brings Eddie back to consciousness. Meanwhile, the symbiote that had escaped at the beginning targeted a child. The possessed child then found Drake and directly to his body. Annie took Eddie to the hospital and secretly turned on the device. Venom couldn't take the sonic torture and escaped. Then used the ventilation ducts to find a puppy. Eddie was captured by the enemy when he left the hospital. And Venom, who was possessed by the puppy, put the target on Annie. Drake told Eddie that if you hand over Venom, everything will be fine. But Eddie didn't expect that Drake become the same as his. Drake's symbiosis is more grumpy. Eddie was sent into the woods by his men. Now, he is useless, Drake must kill him. Surprisingly, Annie who was possessed by Venom. also secretly followed. After solving the enemy, it returned to Eddie again. Venom told Eddie that Drake's symbiont was named Riot. He is the planet's ruler. This guy is not only strong, but his style, just like his name. Now Riot must be stopped from returning to the planet, or Earth will be finished. At night Drake was ready for everything. 
This time they're going to take the rest of the symbiotes, all of them, back to Earth. Whoever dares to block Drake's plan is dead. The ship entered the countdown. And these employees are useless now. Riot transforms into two scimitars and kills all the staff. Watching Riot was rushing to the airship, Eddie comes after him quickly. Riot asks Venom to follow him back. Because of the disagreement, they fought directly. Riot's attack speed and power, even the ability to transform are far exceeded Venom's. Venom's chances of winning this symbiotic battle were almost zero. After a few rounds, Riot used the bone spikes on his back to injure Venom seriously. Follow this trend, Venom will be killed sooner or later. Even with Venom's strong recovery ability, Riot separates Eddie and Venom and plans to devour the traitor. At the critical moment, Eddie completed the fusion again. In the viscous liquid, both sides were separated, and Riot and Venom also mixed together. As the gap in strength was too great. In this battle, for the body, Riot still gained control. He completely eroded Venom and Eddie about to return home. Suddenly, a noise separates them. It turns out it was Annie in the main control room, turning on the noise. The two fall down, both, without the symbiote on them. Eddie kicked Drake out of the way. Unfortunately, the other side found a partner in advance. Not only can he not stop the enemy now, he is still in danger himself. Then Riot opened the hatch and entered the ship. Meanwhile, Venom and the ventilation ducts finally found Eddie. He pulls the blade from his chest and rushes towards the starting ship. Riot knew something was wrong. Venom now used Riot's weapon, destroying the entire spaceship. A huge explosion turns Drake and Riot into ashes. Finally, Eddie helped neighbors solve the problem in her store. Although Venom became a superhero, but in a prison not far away. Another prisoner is ready to move. No one knows his name. Only that this man is known as Massacre. If you like my story, please don't forget to click subscribe. See you next time.